If you're ever worried about the way Bobby's working, feel free to run Bobby's home diagnostic test. As Bobby's doctor, you can use the remote to test all of Bobby's sensors and electronic parts from home. To begin the checkup, make sure Bobby's side power button is turned off. Hold the OK button on the remote and do not release. While you switch Bobby's power back on, the lights on the screen will flash. Press both the juice and waffle indicators on the cover before they stop blinking. Continue holding the OK button until the current time and schedule time digits all become zeros. This means Bobby is in diagnostic mode and you can start her first test. While Bobby is on the ground, the numbers one to four on the remote will be underlined. If you lift Bobby, the lines will disappear and two new ones will show under the numbers five and six. The numbers one to four represent Bobby's ground detection sensors. The numbers five and six are for Bobby's left and right wheels. To move on to the next part of the test, press the right button on the remote. A number one will appear in the second digit of the scheduled time box. Use a flat surface to imitate a wall in front of Bobby. Starting at the left side, drag it around Bobby's bumper until you reach her power switch. The numbers one to five will be underlined one by one as you move your surface. Firmly press any of the touch sensors on the right side of the bumper, and the number seven will be underlined. Press any on the left side, and the number six will become underlined. For the third part of Bobby's checkup, click the right button on the remote. The number one in the scheduled time box will now read zero two. The numbers above that will change it now shows how many times Bobby has charged. In this setting, you can also test Bobby's reactivity to the docking station. A line will appear under the numbers one through four along the top of the remote screen when you move her around the charging station. From the left side of the docking station, the number one will be underlined. Place Bobby about four inches away. The number two will be underlined. Move Bobby to the right of the station and the number three becomes underlined. A line will appear under the number four when Bobby is within four inches of the charging station. Press the right button once more to move on to the next step. The digits 0300 will appear in the small box on the remote. The current of the left wheel will be displayed above that. A standard range for the current of each wheel is between 20 and 110. Bobby will drive forward and continue until you exit this setting. In this mode, you should also feel air flowing from Bobby's dustbin. To test the right wheel, press the left arrow on the remote. The lower digits will now read 0301 and the current of the right wheel will show above that. Large differences in the currents of each wheel could indicate a jam or clog. Cleaning the wheel could resolve this issue. Press the left arrow again you will see 0302 on the remote. Above that is the main brush current. A standard number should be around 300. Click the right arrow so the scheduled time box reads 0400. The four numbers in the center of the screen should all be zeros when Bobby is off of her charging station. If you place Bobby on it, a number below 800 will appear in place of the zeros. This means that Bobby's battery and charging station are working properly. When you are finished with each test, turn Bobby's side power button off and press the high and buy button on the remote to exit the checkup mode. When you switch Bobby back on, she will return to her normal working mode. If Bobby still has trouble working, please contact customer support anytime for further assistance.
If you're ever worried about the way Bobby's working, feel free to run Bobby's home diagnostic test. As Bobby's doctor, you can use the remote to test all of Bobby's sensors and electronic parts from home. To begin the checkup, make sure Bobby's side power button is turned off. Hold the OK button on the remote and do not release. While you switch Bobby's power back on, the lights on the screen will flash. Press both the juice and waffle indicators on the cover before they stop blinking. Continue holding the OK button until the